Hello, and welcome back to the Guild Wars Let's Play. So we're back here, after that history lesson, uh, here in Drachner's Forge. This is where we actually land after doing Glint's, doing the Dragon's Lair, and after seeing Glint. So, this is the first dwarf you would see. Um, Consular, Counselor? Counselor? Uh, Tronar Ironseer. So I'm going to talk to him first. Do not be afraid. I'm sure you have heard the rumors about the Brotherhood of the Dragon, many of which are not so flattering. Actually, this is the first time I'm hearing about him. There are those in the dwarven community who see our connection to the dragon Glint as blasphemy against the great dwarf. But I assure you, our brotherhood is not uh, grounded in a spiritual realm. We are more interested in the, well, practical applications, if you will, of prophecy in the art of prognat uh, prognostication. Please stay a while. Perhaps you will learn a thing or two. Okay, doesn't tell me much about it. That just implies about the dragon, which I know what he's I know what he's referencing. I don't think a new player would have any idea what any of that just meant. But uh I know what that means. Alright. Look at these dwarven sages. So yeah, this is this is what he is talking about, this right here. This is called the Statue of Glint. Do you seek wisdom from the great dragon? Kneel here before her altar, and perhaps you will be rewarded with a vision of Glint herself. So, what this is, you can kneel here. Then a vision of Glint will arise, and you can talk to the vision of Glint. Your ascension is not the end, but rather a new beginning. Those who have helped you get this far are now in great peril. Go to them. Put right what has gone so terribly wrong. I will be here when you return, when you have fulfilled your destiny. Yeah. You can talk to Glint, and that gives you some, like, after, post-game quests, like, post-main story quests. So that's always good. I remember that. Um, this, this is an old thing. So you can actually see the swirly portal, and you can actually still see the loading zone in the back there. Uh, this used to be an arena, actually. This here used to be, like, a uh, snow arena. Uh, which I think it might still be in the game, but you just can't get there in the overworld anymore. Um... They, for a while, was just out of the game. They eventually did, or, or, or like, just gone. But they eventually repurposed it so that uh, we actually go here at the post, at the finish the last mission as, like, a celebratory thing uh, that we go there. So we do get to see it, but we're not going to be able to see it for a while. So we're going to have to just ignore that. Well, we got some more storage but stuff up here. And this, Venny, I believe, gives us our other quest to get 15 more achievement, I mean, uh, not achievement points, but... Uh, Attribute points, I think. Um, then it starts the quests. Come closer, Sage. Look me in the eye. As I thought, you got the look of someone who's been to Augury Rock and come out the other side. A true hero in the making. Well, listen to me, hero. Do not be deceived. The desert still holds more secrets for you to unlock. Take my advice and seek out the places called Seeker's Passage and Destiny's Gorge and Hero's Audience when you may find challenges worthy of a true champion. Thank you for the advice. I've already found those, so it will be easier for me. But we'll we'll go do that one later. It's also almost time. I think it's a good time for us to do Villainry of Galarath as well. It's a, that it's a simple quest I haven't finished yet. Dealing with White Mantle stuff. We might go do that. All right, let's see. Let's keep looking around. Good old Drachnir's Forge. Uh, this mess of rock. Oh, wait. We'll wait before we go down to the center. I'm going to run the outskirts first. I love this little, little bridged area. I remember walking down here. Then we got dyes. We got merchants. We got our rune traders. I'm sure we're going to make a bunch of runs here once we start knowing what armor we're going to make. Yeah, I'm going to sell this. Let me see. This, this is... I'll just save it. All right. here merchants row training yard as in skills all right same old skills that we've been getting scrolls and look at I look at this just contraption of rigs pulleys I'm just actually admiring the the scenery you know, it's pretty cool nice nice Looks like there's a building over here. Can't go in it or anything. Alright. So we 
check this all out. And let's see what's over here. The heart of the city. Well, we have, we'll, we'll go check over here one more time real quick over here. This, this just leads to Whitman's Folly and looks like it just loops us back around to where we started. So, don't need to do that. Yeah, we have multiple exits. We have one that leads to Whitman's Folly and another one that leads to... I'm not sure where that one leads, but... Not... Not... Folly. I have cousins in the summit, though I don't speak to them. I don't understand the way they think. <laughs> yeah, the stone summit. Because there's... Remember, the dwarves are still in the middle of a uh, civil war. If I recall, I think this is our actual primary quest. The Mersat have taken Thunderhead Keep. Jalus ordered my scouts, Krog and Onar, ahead to learn what they can and find one of the ancient texts uh, ancient texts called the Seer. It is said that he can fashion a set of armor capable of protecting one against Mersat magic. Okay, we might need that. Most, uh, most like a tale told over a flag and a veil, but in these times, who knows? I expected a report by now. Something you must have held them up. I feel better if you went after them. Let's see what I can find out. Seeking the seer. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. That's basically the primary quest. Seeking the seer. Um, let's see. So we have our armor here. Armor, armor, and weapons. The weapons are never worth crafting. They're always super expensive. So I'm not gonna bother with that. Uh, let's see. I guess the question is, what do we want, and how much is it gonna cost us? All right, so we can get plate mail. We could go plate. But you know what I'm honestly kind of feeling? Because it's kind of like the traditional warrior armor. I kind of want to go with the Templar. It's like classic. It's it's like the default warrior armor. It has the, the helmet is what the I you know, is the inspiration for the icon for the game. It's sort of, I don't know, it's like the, it's like the generic as hell, but I kind of want it. For that exact reason. Does that make sense? So I think we're going to go for a set of Templar armor. And we're going to go... We want our good old Axe Mastery. So um, let's do... I'm going to quickly just do some math. And I'll be right back. I'm going to just quickly tally everything up. Write everything down. Figure out what I need. And then uh, I'll get right back to you. So one second. Alright, so we're, uh, I did some calculations, and in total I'm going to need 200 iron, 4 steel, and 18 leather squares, and then of course just 5 plat outright. Uh, oof, I don't know if we're going to be able to get everything in once, but we're definitely not going to be able to get runes and things at the same time, so uh, let's quickly just go see what we got, and find out, I know we have some mats, we've been saving up, uh, we can lower the cost of things a little bit, and we'll figure out what we need to do. Guess what we're gonna do right now? Since we need every cent, is now's the time to take out all our mats, and we're gonna sell all our mats. It's now's the time to do it. Get as much money as we can. Now that we know what we actually need for now. Silk. Okay, 19 steel. We only need 
we gotta keep four. Keep four of that, but then I'm gonna be good on that regard. And we have three leather out of the 18, so we're still gonna need... Gonna need more of that. And we have 80 iron. Obviously, that's not too bad. We'll be, I think we'll be not too bad. Let's find out. I don't know how much things cost. I know iron was costing a pretty decent penny, so... Overall, one of the more expensive ones. Just gotta, now we gotta go... This is the, the Drocknar run. Now we go to the merchant. Also, we can change our build. Might as well change our build while we're running around, yeah? Uh, I'm gonna give... Always... I like sprint. I think sprint's really good. I don't need disrupting chop anymore. I don't remember what I was using. What was I using before disrupting chop? I'll worry about it later. Alright. We want just regular materials. Let's sell some stuff. Ten bones goes for sixty silver a pop. For every ten bones, sixty I mean sixty silver, sixty gold. That's honestly one of the things in Guild Wars 2 that bums me out is they don't have, they don't do a uh, platinum. It'd be so much better if they had platinum as a, as a system of gold in there, but no. There we go. Wish I could sell more than ten at a time. Seems a little excessive. Also, this is an interesting system. How it's based on supply and demand. So, like, like how you have to, you're like pinging the thing every time. Thirty. Holy shit! Granite sells a decent amount. Not like tens or anything, but under forty for that. Nice. I don't have any. I don't have any. I don't, I don't have enough dust. And then I have my iron, which I'm not getting rid of. Okay. You. Sell well to you. I don't need fur. Ooh, 320 for some fur. Yeah! Take the fur. Uh, take the 110 for the silk. Steel. Let's see. I can sell one. I have 18. I need to keep. I need at least four, so let's make sure we stay with at least four. Keep the four. Holy shit. Monstrous Fang, flat out. One plat, 800. Hell yeah. Money, money, money. All right, and then leather. We need leather. All right, now let's go buy. Now let's see how let's see how this goes. Oh, yeah. Deldamore steel. Oh, I didn't check. I didn't check if it was Deldamore steel or regular steel that I needed. I think it was just regular. I hope it was just regular steel for the armor that I'm trying to craft. I think Deldamore steel is for the 15k armor. It's obsidian shards. Oh man, it's so crazy seeing these old icons. Like, Obby shards. Ectoplasm. Oh, getting the soldier blast right now. That's all. Sorry, don't mind me. Alright. I still need more leather squares. I needed 18. I have three. Alright. Should do it. Boom. Nice. And now I need iron. Just iron. I have 80, so I need 120 iron. Ooh, 750 for 10. This, oh, this is, this is where we're going to take so much damage. It's such a lot of damage. I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just so much. Oh, no. Ah. Ah, that's just killing me. Like, how much is that? 
You have 120 right now. Perfect. Oh, that still hurt. Okay, we're good, though. All right, in theory, we should have everything we need now. So let's go craft us some armor. And then see if we can... We're still really hurting for an axe, though. But, uh... It will come. In time. It'll come. All right, um... Give my, what do we got? What do we got? I want my axe, axe mastery temp, uh, templar helm. So yep, so good. And it was just like I figured. Got my helmet. Got my chest. Need more iron. Oh, yeah. What was I thinking? I had 120. I needed to buy 120 more. Is what I meant to do. Duh. I'm so dumb. Yeah, look at that helmet. Still gonna hide it, though. So we need it. We need to go get more iron. What do I have? Oh, you know what, too? We can... Salvage this. Odd man. We can try to salvage that, sure. Cool, got that out of there. Still want to just salvage the Curious itself, though. 17 iron from that, nice. So good, we can get some of our iron from the very things that we are crafting, so that's good, too. And five iron from the helmet. That gives us enough to, at least, we can make gloves or legs. Um, I mean, gloves or boots, not legs. Let's, let's buy our... Let's get our gloves. Alright, we got our gloves now. Throw those bad babies on. Oh, look how cool. We're gonna be a, we're gonna be a real, real knight. Now we can salvage those ones. Got five more iron. Okay. Alright, now what do we need then? We're getting close. We have 22 iron. We still need... 50 and 25, so still need 75 more... Still need 75 more, and we have 22, making it so that we need 53 more iron. Ugh, means I have to buy it in multiples. Although I could buy... I could buy some, craft just the pants, and then salvage the pants. My pants, you know what I mean. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Alright, I think you know what I mean. Ow. Ow. Oh, it hurts. <laughs> uh. Uh. Ah. All right. Let's, I'm trying to save money, so if we let's build our pants and see how much iron it saves us, we might have just enough to be able to build our boots and we don't have to buy anymore if we're really lucky. Yeah. Let's build our pants. Gotta get our pants. Oh, what? I need more leather square? What a what a twist. I didn't see the twist coming. I need more leather squares too. Shh. Man, I don't know. How do I math? Alright. I haven't done some old school RPGing like this in so long. Where it's like buy, get materials, do the thing. I love it. Honestly, I love it. Alright, leather. We need leather squares. All day we need eight. We need eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need twelve. We have two, so we need ten more. Ten leather squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What I need? Ten leather squares? This Radiant Insignia is probably going to be helpful, I think. You can see how much it sells for, but I think it's really useful. I think. I guess it depends. Right, now can I build my pants? Yay, build my pants. Oh, cool. Apparently I already have enough for my, my little booties, too. Never mind. Alright. 
No, I almost salvaged the ones I just made. That that would have cried. I would have just given up on existence. Oh, this has a rune of attunement as well. Salvage that out. Oh. Uh, we didn't get our iron for it, but we got the thing. Well, whatever. Apparently, we have enough anyway, so I guess we're good. We have, what, just, like, just enough? No, we're good. All right. Oh, craft our booties. Yay, we got our boots. Throw one on our boots. Salvaging our boots. And we got five iron out of that, so not much. But there we go. Look at us. Dun 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 dun. We're cool. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yes. Fully decked out. Look at that. Look and fly. Nice. All right. Well, now we're well, not fully decked out, but we got a full set of armor. Uh, now the real question is, how are runes looking? What can we afford with runes? We only have two there, but we do have the. This insignia, and this rune. We might be able to do some things with this. Let's find out real quick. Let's see if there's... Okay, we can go with health. Brother, I might have to do some quick investigate major vigor. Hey, yeah, superior vigor, oh! Classic, good old classic superior vigor. E.D. Platt. Even a rune of minor vigor uh, gives currently. So vigor is where it's at. It's just like you want life. Radiant apparently I don't think is great. It's always it's always vigor. Yeah, two thirty. Nothing much. Vigor is where it's at. You want that additional health, understandably so. And then you have these insignias as well that you can throw on. Or you can make it, you can get certain warrior ones specifically if I want to do certain things. I'll have to, uh, oh, like my sword of, rune of swordsmanship, rune of swordsmanship seems to be the meta right now, at least, at least right there, the minor rune of swordsmanship. Yeah, and see, because you lose health, nobody wants these. It's, it's always funny how it is, but your minor ones are more, people like these ones more. Are, are, oh, requires 13 strength versus elemental damage though. To be a sentinel. That's 170 a pop. Good thing I'm gonna roll axe, so I don't need this minor swordsmanship. I just need a, one of these. Nice. All right. We'll figure out what I'm doing here. Craft things up. I'll, I'll need a little bit more gold before we can fully finish it, but at least we have a good uh, foundational start. And I can use these for now to at least give myself a little, little something. And we also gotta figure out what I'm actually gonna do for a build. Do more energy attack, more energy things now. I should probably do another energy attack, huh? Target's moving. I right, can get my cyclone axe back. That's what I should do. Oh, or my deep wound. Give my deep wound back. Actually, I don't need to do my deep wound as much. I think I kind of want to do that one. Yeah. Then we can spam. Use this to spam my energy attack. Especially if you have this and this together, you just get all your energy back instantly. Like, get multiple hits. Alright. Well, cool. We have 12 unspent points, and I know there's still more. At we're still not fully there, but at least we're looking good. So, thank you for watching the Let's Play. The story will continue. We'll start, like, exploring outside now that we're fully decked out. Uh, you know what I actually think we might do? I think we might actually go back for the sake of completion and do this to do this. Seek out Galrath? We might go do that. Now that we have armor and go punch him. I think now's a good time to complete it since we're doing the, the white mantle stuff. But I will catch you in the next video. Till then, stay super.